Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Over Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up a codfish fillet in the New Wave Bravo toaster oven and air fryer. So let's get cooking right now. So for the codfish fillet, I've got two and a quarter pound of codfish fillet here, and it's going to take some work to get it onto the pan here. I've got the bake pan with the kind of the raised rack that can go inside of there. And I've got the wire rack inside of the cooker on the lowest, uh, well it's basically like the one level setting for that wire rack because this kind of raises things up a little bit and I don't want it too close to the heating elements. But for my seasonings for this cook, I've got some standbys, good old standbys, nothing sponsored though by the way, just things I like. Got some Old Bay seasoning and some lemon pepper seasoning. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and get things seasoned up and then I'm going to try and coordinate carefully the pieces onto this rack here, see if Lord willing I can get them all. We'll get this whole thing coordinated on here carefully. Then I've got my eye grill 2 here to measure temperature and I'm going to stick that into one of the larger pieces of the fish to measure temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and get things seasoned up, get the eye grill probe into the meat. And thank the Lord I was able to get it all configured onto the rack all together. So that's two and a quarter pound of codfish fillet able to fit inside of the rack on the bake pan. So the cooker doesn't have a built in preheat and so I'm just going to start cooking because I found that you really don't need a preheat with this cooker. It's able to do a pretty good job without one. So I'm hitting the menu button here and I'm spinning around to roast. So I've got it on roast and I'm going to hit the temp. I'm going to leave the temp at 375 which is its default. For time, I could bring the time down to maybe 20, maybe it won't need 30, but maybe it will. But anyway, I doubt it will. All the same, I'm going to leave it at 30, that'll just give us something easy to count down from. And we'll just track the temp, once the temp of the fish gets to 145, because I like to cook all the way, and then take it out. Then I'll pull it on out at 145. So, with that hitting start, and going to go ahead and let things cook, and I'll bring you on back in a bit. This is a fresh codfish fillet, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. But I'll bring you back. So things have been going for almost a full 30 minutes now. Just seconds left and the temperature is at 138 so we're almost there but not quite. I'm going to up to another five minutes basically. Give it a little more time because I like to get it to 145. I know a lot of you like to use the carryover. I know all about it but it's not my thing. So I'm going to let it go ahead until it gets to 145. And yeah I know even after I take it out it'll still be cooking inside some and that's alright with me. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Or five. <laughs> All right, things just needed literally a couple more minutes and it's hit 145. So I'm going to turn it off and sure I could have just let it sit in there for a little while longer. But I wanted to let it get all the way done before I pull it out because those of you who have been watching this channel for over 700 videos know that's how I do and been doing it for many years and I know everybody does it differently and I respect that. Get this out of here without making any mess or anything. There we go. So we've got our finished codfish and I'm trying to not let it fall too far out but there you have a look at it so you can see how good it looks. Now I'm going to try and carefully get it out. I think maybe if I just if I can get the whole rack out, it might be the easiest method than trying to... I don't know if I can slide these pieces off of the wire rack that's inside the bake pan. Well, I guess so. I'm going to need another, need another spatula. Alright, two spatulas will probably make this easier to do. So, get this out of here. Alright. That works. I'm going to go ahead and get this one. Glad it's not like fusing to the 
wire rack and get it all stuck. You know what I mean? So, oh, that I think I pressed too hard on that piece there and knocked it kind of off. And get this probe out and get this piece out. All right, so got it all out of there. And so, just going to give it like five minutes to just set and rest. Alright, so we gave things five minutes to reabsorb some juices. Everything looks pretty good. Just going to cut some off here. You can just see inside. Looks nice and juicy. Going to get some on plate here for a taste test. So you can let me know in a comment what you think, but let's do a taste test. So thank God for this nicely roasted codfish. And let's do a taste. Gonna get this big piece here. Oh, I might as well finish it off. Why not? <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. Definitely tender and juicy. Turned out real nice. Seasonings taste great. So the cooker did a good job. In about 30 minutes for a big fresh filet. I've seen that from other cookers, so it's about on par with others. No preheat, keep in mind. So 32 minutes with no preheat. That's even a little better than I've seen from some other cookers. I thought, because it's 1800 watts and small, that it might go even a little quicker. It might not need the full 30, but it's all good. And so I hope that you did like this in the video description. There'll be a printable version of the recipe. Also, nothing as I said is sponsored. There's lots of ways to help the channel. In the video description, there's merch, my cookbook, memberships, donations, all that good stuff is in there. And so you can also always check out my blog, superwaveovenrecipes.com. With all that said, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and good eating.